Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more Princess Connect and oh my goodness, I wanted to show you guys this amazing website that was put together by the community. Um, this game is current up to I believe the Chinese version so this is, easy, this is even going to include a lot of stuff that we don't even have yet on the soft launch. So if you're looking for an all purpose, all in one website to help you progress in the game, even progress and get prepared for content that's not even yet available to you. This is the best site that I've found so far. It's very useful, very helpful. It has a lot of information that can help you, you know, keep yourself in order, you know, keep track of everything, and make sure you're prepared and you're farming to the best of your ability and the most efficient way possible. So this is just a phenomenal website. We're going to go over kind of what this website offers, how to use it, what it can provide for you. And I will have a link for it in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoy this website as much as I do. So as a lot of you know, you have to do a lot of farming in this game. This is a very grind, very resource heavy game. You want to go out, you want to get resources to be able to rank up your characters, to gear them up. Then you want to refine the gear to make them as strong as you possibly can. You also want to farm up shards, take advantage of that shard system in the hard mode stages and all the various shops from all the content that you can clear in the game such as arena and dungeons and be able to basically progress as far as you possibly can, free to play, casual, spender or of course if you're a whale. So this website kind of takes all that information and puts it into a nice system and it lets you lay it out and use it as much as you need to and use it for the things that you're actually most curious about so you're not going to get completely lost in the sauce here it kind of you know gives you the tools that you need to look for specific things which is very awesome so before we go into the actual like gear farming stuff that the home page will offer you like right off the bat under items i want to talk about some of the other services that this website offers you on other so it has some useful links that go um and share other information about the game like the help wiki which is really awesome statistics which is just for statistician guys like me that like not the like the numbers just to see kind of where players are at stat wise in terms of what gear they're farming of the most um it's not very useful but it's cool if you just like to look at the numbers recipe data very very useful so we're gonna go ahead and look at that one first recipe data basically shows all the various gear available in the game and what it's going to require to build it up so for example if i want to look at a gold pair of boots here the paladin greaves it's going to break down very nicely what all materials and other gear on that i might need to build that one single gold piece of gear so it breaks it all down it tells you how much you need of each piece and that'll allow you to go ahead and use the actual item guide and then you can go farm those pieces efficiently with the best drop rate percentages that you can get. And then you can go ahead and get that gear and then you can start ranking up your characters. You can even use this in advance um, to prepare for characters that you plan on working on at a later time. And you just want to farm up all their gear alongside other characters if they are sharing the same stages for drops. So it's just a very useful tool and I really like how they break it down. It's very simple. It's very clean. It's very nice. And it's very helpful. The other thing here is quest data. Quest data is very awesome. This is going to show you all the drops of all gear available in this game per stage. And if you'll notice, like I said, this is up to current date uh, Chinese version. They're up to chapter 40 where they're dropping red gear. <laughs> okay, they're dropping red gear. Uh, we're still on soft launch, so we're not even entering purple gear yet. So we can't even get to rank 8 or anything like that. Um... But you guys can see here, it just shows you all the available drops, what the drop rate percentages are for all the different pieces of gear. It even shows you what the percentage for the drops are for shards for individual hard mode stages. And there's even a very hard mode apparently, which is just actually crazy. So there's lots of content still to come guys and gals out there for Princess Connect, especially when it comes to story mode. So lots of stuff to look forward to, lots of progression still to do, obviously. And all that's going to be coming hopefully, you know, early to mid-2021. But yeah, so you guys get an idea. You can go ahead and you can see what all the stages are going to drop going forward up to current time um, on the most current version of the game. And then we have character data. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite things about this website. I love it when communities put a website together and showcase this type of information, especially for a game that has a... Um, 
you know, a resource management system such as this, where you really want to be able to farm certain things, select things very efficiently, so you don't make too many mistakes or waste resources. So if we go over here and we look at like Nozomi, for example, if we just click a character, it's actually going to show us all the required gear for each rank. And as I said, this is up to current day, they're on rank 19s. On the soft launch, we're only up to rank 7. We're just now into the gold ranks. And there's going to be four of those. It's going to be rank 7, 8, 9, and 10 before we start getting into the purple ranks. Um, quick note, the first big obstacle to come, I think, for a lot of players, uh, after already being, of course, stuck on 7, is going to be rank 9. Because rank 9, you're going to be using all gold gear. Right now, at rank 7, we're only using 3 gold and 3 silver. Rank 8, we're using uh, 5 to 1, and then rank 9 will be the first time that we have to go full gold gear. So rank 9 is going to be a big obstacle, stamina-wise, mana-wise, just a lot of resources, a lot of grinding. Rank 9 is going to be that big hurdle that a lot of us are going to have to try and overcome. And then the next one will be rank 12, which is, of course, going to be all purple. That would be the first instance where we have all purple. And then I think, I'm assuming rank 19 is going to be all red, or at least close to it, so... Whenever those ranks come way down the road, you guys get the idea. But yeah, rank 9 is going to be that first big hurdle for a lot of us because it's going to go full purple. I'm sorry, full gold. So that's a cool little thing right there to help a lot of people out. But the biggest thing, obviously, the site has to offer is to show you how to efficiently farm all these different stages of story for various materials that you need. So, for example, if we want to look up a copper piece, we can just go ahead here and we can just, you know... Okay, let's, let's look for one of these swords, right? So it's going to pop up the requested item. It's going to pop up the required ingredients if it requires ingredients. But since this is actually um, just a copper piece, it doesn't need any ingredients. But when you get up to like higher tier gear, like for example, gold. Let's say we just want to look for this sword right here. So we're just going to add one. We want to farm for one. Now you'll notice that we're actually going to have to also get 25 Chaos Blade fragments to craft one Chaos Blade. So to get the Chaos... Um, blade fragments we want to look for the best drop rate percentage in the story so for example if i want to get 25 of this particular sword and i'm far enough in story i would want to farm 13 6 or 13 12 because the drop rate is 86 percent as well as 14 1. if i don't have those available and i can only farm let's say like 13 6 the drop rate's only going to be 36%. And I don't know why I said 86, guys. I read that wrong. That's 36%. So technically, 13-3 hard mode would be the one I want to farm at 72. So it's going to be 36%, 36%, 72%, 36 again. And I do apologize. I thought that said 86 for a moment. I, I was wondering why that was so high. 14-3 uh, hard is also like a 72%. So... You know, obviously, if you don't have those higher stages unlocked and you only have the lesser stages, you're going to have to deal with those lower percentages. But it's just good to know that you can see this information. You're going to know what the drop rate is. So you can better set up farming strategies going forward and what to you farm or what not to farm, depending on how far you've gotten in story, what characters cross over with others when it comes to different stages. So, you know, if you we just randomly start... um. Let's just say we need to farm a bunch of random stuff. So let's just go ahead and just add a, a few pieces of gear here. And we want to look for crossovers. So I'm just, you know, grabbing random pieces of gear here. Just clicking up. And we're going to see if we have any crossover. So we do. So in 13.11, we have a crossover right now where both the drop rates are 36% for the Gospel Tierra and the High Angel Rod. So if we're farming up a unit or a couple units that uses one of those two pieces of gear, that's going to be a good spot to farm because they're both 36% drop rates and they're both on the same stage. So you're basically knocking out two birds with one stone. So it makes for your farming um, habits to be a little bit more efficient. So what I would recommend doing for a lot of you players out there is actually going to the actual other page, the other panel, the other tab rather of this website, go to character data. Okay, go to character data, and then I want you to individually select each character that you're working on. And try to make sure that you're trying to build up all your characters around the same ranks at the same time for your core team. That way, all your teams on rank 4, all your teams on rank 5, all your teams on rank 6, 
because then you're all and then you can farm everything a little bit more efficiently so for example if nozami was let's say on rank four and i needed these four silver pieces again these two bronze you want to search for all four of those in both the bronze pieces and then go select another character you're working on and then farm all the stages first that have crossovers that way you can knock out two birds with one stone and then you have less stamina that's being wasted which means more progression faster and more efficient so hopefully that does, that does not confuse too many of you out there but i just wanted to make sure that i got this website out to all of you because this is a amazing website this is actually one of the better websites i've seen done by a community for a gotcha game because they put a lot of time and effort to this trust me i'm a web designer i know how much work they put into this they did a very good job so i have to applaud them um whoever made this who was it made with love by s pugin i don't know who that is i'm sorry but uh you did a great job well done um this is really the all-in-one tool that you need to progress in this game guys i mean it pretty much shows you everything that you need to see i think the only thing that's really missing is maybe if they could at some point maybe add stats for the characters like what their stats are at one star versus six star what their stats are with all the individual rankings with no gear or maxed out gear with refines if they added that as well that would just put this website over the top but that's just hyper criticism right there that's not anything that is absolutely needed but man it would be a real real helpful thing to have but other than that this site is on point hope you guys enjoy this site as much as i do it'll help you along the way in princess connect and it'll take care of all of your problems with knowing or not knowing what you need to do to progress with your different units and build the best team that you possibly can in the most efficient way so Take care, everyone. Have a great day as always. Don't forget, I will have the link to this website in the description below alongside my Discord link if you'd like to join. Don't forget to like the video if today's video was very helpful. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, take notifications. Until then, peace.